Hello everyone, this is Kim Boleyn and welcome to my vlog, A New Season. Oh, you know, I was just thinking the other day, guys, I should probably do another podcast and put that out because I haven't done that for a while. So I'm praying about putting out a podcast and getting something with a little more lengthy teaching that I can get out there for you guys. So anyway, as usual, let's start with prayer. Father, in the name of Yeshua, oh God, you know what, you're doing a lot of work behind the scenes and... Because we don't see it, sometimes it seems slow, but when you give us a peek, it's not so slow. <laughs> so thank you, Father, for what you're doing and how you're doing it. And we thank you, God, that you do have our best interest in mind, that you love us, that you want to do so many good things for us because you just have plans and purposes for us, just like any parent that really wants good things for their children. So thank you, Father, that you're so good. And thank you that you love us. And thank you you have a plan for us. And thank you, Father. It's not just a new season, but it's a new era. In the name of Yeshua, Bashem Yeshua, Amen. I was listening to Lana Vosser. She's from Australia. If you're not familiar with her, you might want to check her out. She is awesome. She has a true prophetic gift. She is really a, a prophet. And the things that she comes out with, I mean, it brings me to jealousy. <laughs> really good it's so good guys oh my gosh so but she said some things that really resonated with me and really struck home and I thought god what do you want me to share on the vlog this next time and uh, I came back to where it was like Matthew 10 7 and 8 Matthew 10 verses 7 and 8 where the Lord said to tell them that the kingdom of God has come near them and to go and heal the sick, not just pray for the sick, heal the sick, raise the dead. How many of you guys are out there doing that? You know, cleanse the lepers. How many of us are out there doing that? And drive out demons. We really need to take God's word at his word. He's not a liar. So whatever he says in his word, guys, is true. I'm being put to the test with that even right now, guys. I've got some things going on in my physical body that I'm going, hmm, not cool. So I'm just touching my body and praying over it and blessing it and just loving on my body and just saying, you are well in the name of Yeshua. You do not receive any diseases of Egypt. You do not receive any sickness, any cancers, any heart disease, any diabetes, any anything that's not from the Lord. And God does not want to make us sick. That is not from him, guys. So I am really learning to take God at his word and what it says. And I go, God, your word says this. And if it says this, it's true. And you're not a liar. So God's word is true and the devil is a liar. Amen. Amen. And once we get that truth in us, once we understand that God's word is true and you start looking at the promises, oh man, our lives will change. Our lives will change. I mean, there will be hope again. There will be excitement. There will be, oh my gosh, just a, a passion to go forward in the things that God wants us to go forward in. I'm in. And, you know, my daughter and I, we have been really working on changing our eating schedule and changing our diets and exercising and doing everything more because... When I'm seeing what's going on in my body, I go, God, I really need to change my diet, exercise, make sure I get that water, which I usually do, but I make sure make sure I get the water. And get a good night's sleep. And even if I wake up a few times, just still go to bed at the a decent hour and then the body will eventually do what it's supposed to. So God's made our bodies to heal themselves, guys. And so, and I do everything alternative. I am not a doctor person. I mean, yeah, if you were like an extreme emergency, you know, like you really needed to be stopped, like profuse bleeding or whatever. I mean, emergency, emergency, where you're going to die, you know? Yeah, that's one thing. And because it's, they're 
trained in emergency medicine. But when it comes to the daily maintenance of our bodies, you're better off. I'm, you know, this is my opinion, but you're better off on just doing natural methods. I have had more success with that than anything else. I've had success with it. I know a lot of other people that have had success. And since my daughter and I have been changing our diets and exercising more, I'm starting to feel better, guys. We're going to get this cleanse that we ordered off at Amazon. And it will clean everything. It will clean the liver. It will clean the colon. It will clean the kidneys. It will clean just everything. But let me tell you, those cleanses make a big difference. That's when your body starts dropping off the fat. That's when your body starts healing itself. That's The cleansing is so important, guys. Oh, my gosh. I can't even tell you. So my big thing that I wanted to really share with you today is God's word is true and the devil's a liar. I know that sounds trite, guys. And you want to go, duh, Kim. It's like no joke. But you know what? Are we living that? Are we living where God's word is true and the devil's a liar? Are we really living that? I know there's sometimes that I haven't been and I go to God and I go, Father, forgive me because I haven't really taken you at your word because if I did, I wouldn't be living like this. So it will change our whole life. Yes. Open up doors. Be expectant, guys. God wants to heal our bodies. He wants to heal our souls. He wants to heal our finances. He wants to heal our relationships. And then he's opening doors for our destiny. So, Father, in the name of Yeshua, we thank you for open doors. We thank you, God, that this is the time where we raise up and we march forward and we walk into the destiny that you've already prepared for us. We thank you, God, that we have teachable hearts. We thank you, God, that we do what you're asking us to do. You do have a destiny. And for those that walk into things that they never thought they would walk into, God, I thank you, God, you give them courage. I think you give me courage. I thank you, God, that you've already got the plan in place and you want to reach the lost and you want to use us to do it. B'Shem Yeshua. Amen. So guys, on that note, I'm going to bless you. Yivarechacha Adonai v'yishmarecha Ya'er Adonai panavalecha v'chunecha Yisa Adonai panavalecha v'yasim lacha shalom The Lord bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his shalom his peace and wholeness and everything that he is. He is our portion. Amen. He is our portion, guys. So this week, pray in tongues. Remember, pray in tongues. And go, God, what is it that you want to tell me today so I can take that step closer? And if he's talking to you like he's been talking to us about our physical health, because we really need to be at our optimum guys in these last days we can't just ignore it we can't just slough it off we really need to be at our optimum so we can serve him in strength oh, yeah in Yeshua's name so guys have an awesome week have an awesome day I know it's been a little bit longer since I put on a video but I apologize it's just we were getting over that stupid crud that's going around and work and everything else, you know. Yeah, I didn't really come down with it really bad, but it was enough where it was really, really a hassle. And I had to really take some nutritionals and taking elderberry and taking colloidal silver. But you know what? I'm feeling better. Hallelujah. And so is my daughter. Hallelujah. So it's been a bad winter for virus. And thank God we're not dealing right now what China's dealing with. And we just pray for China. God, please stop that virus and stop the killing of so many people over in China in Yeshua's name. Thank you, Father. So have a great day, guys. And we will talk to you hopefully sooner next time. Shalom.